tea don't make no earthly sense for you to go in there and tamper with somebody's macaroni and cheese. I have another story time. Now this story time did not happen to me, but it almost happened to me, if that makes sense. So anyway, anyway, no, I have to Um, one time, cause, okay. So for a long time, my, my family, my immediate family, my husband, my kids, we were like vegan or whatever. And, um, but like sometimes we ate cheese. So, um, it was Thanksgiving and my friend, Ken, she had invited us to Thanksgiving, but I was like, can you, um, since it don't make no sense, cause we really can't eat anything. And, um. She was like, well, you still eat cheese, though, sometimes, don't you? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, well, you could like, eat the stuffing, like, the the dressing and, the, like, the, the uh, macaroni and cheese or whatever. Like, macaroni and cheese would be just, like, your your main meal or whatever. I'm like, that's cool, because my, one of my daughters, her favorite food is macaroni and cheese. So, I was like, okay. You know, what else are we doing? Because we was in uh, Stockton at the time. And, um, you no, know, we had no family there or whatever. So, Kenya was my family here and uh, pretty much Donna. Like, that was it. That's all I had, my friends. And so, Ken said, you want to go to, you want to come to my house or whatever? And I'm like, okay. So, um, sorry, I'm not rambling because my, we moving, my husband. Not moving, like, moving, but, like, driving. And then I'm trying to follow where he's going. He's going away. I don't know nothing about it. But anyway, so, um, she said, yeah, I want to come to Thanksgiving with me. We, I'll get you, I'll make you macaroni and cheese. make the uh, best macaroni and cheese, you know, A, B, and C. I said, okay. So, something happened to where, uh, what's he doing? Something happened to where we couldn't make it. I don't know what happened. I can't remember. I don't know if I had to go to work or I had to go, because at the time, my mama wasn't down here. Um, she wasn't, she wasn't with me. She was like, I'm not sure. I don't know what happened. Honestly, I, I don't. But we didn't make it. So, the next time I seen her, like a few days later or whatever from from um, Thanksgiving, she was like, uh, I said, how how was Thanksgiving? She said, girl. She said, let me tell you. And so I'm like, wait, what happened or whatever. So, she made macaroni and cheese. Okay. The Thanksgiving was at her mom's house. And so, she made the macaroni and cheese and she brought it over and then she's gonna put it in the oven like how we do and just heat it up or whatever, like get a little crust on it and heat it up. And so she made the macaroni and cheese, brought it over, did everything. And, but when it was time to eat, um, the macaroni and cheese was different. So, her kids, her daughters, and I think her son, when he came down from college, they was like, where's my mom's macaroni and cheese? Like, because this ain't it, right? Where's my mom's macaroni and cheese? And they like, oh, no, that's it, or whatever. And, you know, the family and stuff, like, that's your mom's macaroni and cheese right there. I don't think there's another one in here, or whatever. It's like, well, no, because this ain't my mom's macaroni and cheese. This don't taste like my mom's macaroni and cheese. And so, coming to find out, long story short, my friend put her macaroni and cheese on the table to be heated up. Not on the table, but on the counter or whatever in the kitchen to be heated up or whatever. And then her mother, my friend's mother's friend, came over for Thanksgiving. She was invited. And she gonna pour some cup, um, some, some cream of mushroom soup in the macaroni and cheese. So, I don't know about y'all. But in my black family, we do not, we do not F with macaroni and cheese. Especially when the main person, the person that you know going to tear it up, is going to put their foot in it, then already made it. You don't do anything, anything to the macaroni and cheese. She going to come in and put a can of soup in it, mix it on up and put it in the, in the oven. And so I'm like, putting myself there. I wasn't there. But I was thinking about myself and my children. Like, if we had to come, 
we weren't going to really be able to eat the dressing because it's going to have some gizzards in it and some different type of meats or whatever. Sometimes, you know, you mix it in turkey or whatever. So we really weren't going to be able to really get down. So our main thing was going to be the macaroni and cheese. And this be going to go and tamper with it and mess it up. She, my, my friend, I think she said she had left. Her and her kids left. Or either she didn't leave, uh, some of her kids left. Something, something happened because they were so damn mad. That's how I would have been. I would have left because there's essentially nothing else for me to eat now. I can eat some sweet potato pie and, or, and maybe some rolls or something like that, but I can't really get down because we don't eat like that anymore. And she going to go in there and take it upon her, her uh, dumb self and mix in something else, something pouring into the damn macaroni and cheese. Like, and then who even does that? Like, whoever tempers with anything somebody else has already made. Like, you don't... It's like somebody, like, um... I think Kevin on the stage had mentioned that he went to a uh, Thanksgiving one time and somebody gonna mix his yams in it with his yams or whatever. And, like, you just... You can't do that. Like, it's one thing for you to have two of one thing. So if somebody likes something better, they can have that. But it's another thing for you to go in there and put it all together. It doesn't go like that. You can't put my uh, turkey in and my dressing in with yours and mix it all around and make a new, new di- dish. You can't do that. So, that was just... That was just, like... If you really want to have a fight and mess things up, that's what you do. You do some dish like that. You just go in there and, and pour some damn soup. I don't even know. Cream and mushroom soup. Why, why would you put that in there? They ain't got nothing to do with no cheese. Like, I don't know. And then I think the reason why she said she did it is because I don't I think she was I think she was a setup. I think she was there to cause chaos at the, at the house at the, for Thanksgiving because I don't see no justifiable reason for you to go in and tamper with anybody else's dish. I don't even care if it was like some salad and you're going to put some croutons on the top. Nobody asked you to do that. So that's my problem with that. Like, that was my thing. But, you know, it, like, it was a trip. It was a trip. Like, who? I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping or whatever. Maybe it's not that serious. But I just would have been so damn mad. We would have been there either arguing or fighting. Now, I'm not even a violent person, but... That just to me don't make no early sense for you to go in there and tamper with somebody macaroni and cheese. And especially when that was what the thing you up here waiting for. Like uh, for me, my personal self, even if I was eating meat, macaroni and cheese is a very essential part of the meal for me because I love macaroni and cheese. And you gonna jack it up. So yeah. That was my story time. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.